Weak armor, weakness policy armor, which is something we all encounter when playing online. Very common tech, but we don't really see it well in tournaments. However, this team got day two at the Lily Regional Championship. It has some pretty interesting ways to set up the armorage as well as Okadogi, which was an interesting call. Let's see how well the team performs. This is my recreation of Nils Dunlop's 2024 Lily Regional Championship Day 2 team. It's really impressive to see weak armor, weakness policy armorage, especially in a environment where it is an open team sheet. So I thought that was very impressive from Nils. You have this indoor armorage with the stored power. And there are a few ways you can get even more benefits from that stored power because you have surging strikes with your choice scarf or Shifu. And you can use it to get three weak armor boosts. So you can have that extra power for that stored power. You also have ways to proc it through Terra with this Terra Psychic or even more damage of Expanding Force with the U-turn from the Scarf or Shifu. You even have Fling as an option if you want to get rid of your Choice Scarf. And you also have the Ogre Pond with the U-turn so you can U-turn into Armorage and then bring out your entity. So quite a few different ways here. Afterward, you also have the Tornadus, which always just pairs well with Urshifu. So you don't always have to rely on your offense just being this weak armor setup for Armorage. You can actually just go with like Tornadus and Urshifu. You have that Rain Dance Surging Strike, so it can actually do a good amount of damage. So you always have that pressure. You have the Trick Room option with the entity just to help out against other Trick Room. Or if you're playing Tailwind, you can go for a Trick Room and actually be able to do quite a bit. And then Psychic Seed Okadogi, which Okadogi is really good into a lot of common Pokemon, like the Rillabooms, the Heatrans, especially since they're running Terra Fairy. It's able to sponge up a lot of attacks, and it has really good coverage into those options. So having that bulk up with that Psychic Seed allows Okadogi to potentially set up and actually be able to be a massive threat. If you'd like to check out the details of this vacation and the creator, they'll be linked in the description down below. All right, we have the Fire Ogre Pond, the Hisuian Gudra, Grimmsnarl, Dusclops, Blood Moon, Ursaluna, Rillaboom. <laughs> Screens plus Blood Moon, Ursaluna do not look fun. I'll say that much. I'll say that much. Eh. Uh... Am I breaking through this? This does not look like a fun team to try to break through. I think it involves... Hmm... Okay, I think it involves Urshifu, Ogre Pond, NDD, and oh wait, no, not 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 Wellspring Ogre Pond, not Wellspring Ogre Pond. Urshifu, Armorouge, plus the hmm. Yeah, double grass. I gotta make sure that this is correct. I think it's NDD, and I think it's uh, Okadogi. Cause this torn doesn't have this torn doesn't have taunt, so I think my best play is to go with this combination. The reason I think it's the best way to go about this is like if I get rid of the dust clops slash the blood moon or saluna as well, or even if I just get rid of dust clops, I feel like I'm in a very very good position. So that's what I'm trying to do. A daily dust clops plus real boom, and we're gonna have a little bit of a difficult time. We'll see how the rest goes, but uh, it's playable at least. It's definitely playable. Are they going to fake out though, the Urshifu or not? Or are they going to go for a Grassy Glide slash U-turn immediately? We're going to find out. We're going to see the Grimstall Ogre Pond lead, which I'll take that. Although it's not super easy here. Okay. They're going to light screen here, probably. Man, I wish I let Okadogi here. I mean, I could still reposition for it, but that means it's going to be a lot harder to set up Armorouge in a late game. I could go for the Terra and Heat Wave, but that's not going to knock out the Ogre Pond. I think my best place is just to U-turn out the Ogre Pond and bring out the Entity for this slot. Yeah. Oh, this dust clops. If it's dust clops, blood moon or saluna, but I don't know. They might have brought real of them. Maybe there's no clops. If there's no clops. That would make this a lot easier for me. If we bring out the entity in case there's fake out or anything significant. We're going to get a U turn off into the Ogre Pond. That didn't go for Terra. We can go out into our. There are a few things we can go out into. I'm definitely going Okadogi, though. Okay. 
Get the Psychic Seed boost for the special defense, which might come into play later. Okay. Spirit Break immediately into the Indy. All right. Ah. Focus energy on the Ogre Pond. I even KO Ogre Pond. I think my combo here is just to bulk up Okadogi and follow me and sack my entity as much as I really don't like to. We're going to see the Grimstone actually retreat. Just real boom. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. I guess I could play around this actually. Oh, they went for a spiky shield. Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness. I will follow me with the entity and I will bulk up with my Okadogi. The reason I bulked up is because I thought it was like maybe reflect going up. Uh, so that they could save the Ogre Pond here and get the KO. But luckily, uh, this should be all right. So I'm going to protect my Okadogi. I'm actually going to go for a Trick Room or... Sh Actually, no, I could just double protect. I have protect on both. I might as well just go for protect with both. Because they can't really do any shenanigans right now. Okay. I do have the Terror Dragon still on my Okadogi, so this is not too bad. Okay, double protect. Like, you can only set up one focus energy. Fake out going to come out into the Okadogi. And this is Ivy Cudgel, probably into the Indity. Perfect. All right, not a bad position, I guess, now. I should be able to outspeed Reelaboom. I think my play is just to gunshot the Reelaboom, because they might try to reposition or try to KO the entity with Reelaboom, because the o Ogre Pond's a threat. I think my safest play is just to follow me gunshot here. I don't know if the Ogre Pond is going to attack this turn or if it's just Spiky Shield, so Reelaboom could either one hammer KO, potentially, or maybe you turn out. But Ogre Pond's actually going to retreat, which is great for me. I'll take that. Gudra. Oh, they didn't bring the Blood Moon or the Dust Gloves. That's fantastic for me. Especially if I hit this Gunk Shot here. Come on. Hit. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Goodbye, Real Boom. Fantastic knockout. Fantastic knockout. I think I could set this up for the end game of the... Armor Rouge, if I want to set this up properly, but this is really good. All their switches are weak to Gunk Shot now. We're going to see the Grim Snarl. I mean, I just bulk up here and I just go for Follow Me. The problem is, I guess the Reflect is going to take a while. I'm just Follow Me to avoid the Parting Shot if they want to go for Parting Shot, although really shouldn't matter because I'm just going to gunk shot through that. I guess I got to be concerned if it's Terra Fairy on the Gudra because Terra Fairy could... I mean, I think I'm still all right. Although, I guess positioning the armor is going to be really tough in this game. I'd have to do it for specifically a late game situation. It's definitely manageable, but it's not like easy. We're going to see the Terra from the Gudra immediately, actually, which is uh, very welcome. All right, water. Okay. We're going to follow me with Entity. Let's see if it's a Reflect, I'd imagine. Okay. That's fine by me. If I can get a Poison off into that Gudra, that would be insane. It should be just, like, Shelter. Yep. All right. I mean, I'm going to bulk up again. I'm just going to hard swap. <laughs> trying to figure out how I want to position this end game. I think I just follow me again. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I follow me again. I don't. I guess like the psychic terrain still useful. I'm trying to think of like how I set up the armorage for the expanding force. But then again, the oh, it's taunt. All right. Grimstone is taunt. That's fine, though. 
I want to bulk up so I just make sure that Gudra does no damage to my Okadogi. Like, that's basically what the safety measure is. Making sure that Gudra cannot knock out Okadogi so Okadogi can just focus on the other partner. And then I can try to figure out how I'm KOing afterward. Okay. Grassy Terrain disappears. A little bit annoying because I actually liked the, having the Grassy Terrain. But yeah, we are going to go for the Gung Shot. We're going to hard swap into the... Are we going out into Armors or do we want to go out into Urshifu? It's probably Urshifu immediately. Yeah, it's Urshifu immediately. Because I want to discourage... Like, if I KO the Grimstone now, I want to discourage the... Spiky Shield from the Ogre Pond the following turn. So we'll bring out the Urshifu. Gunk shot. Ooh, okay, perfect. I get rid of their Urshifu. And no light screen is up, so that's pretty nice. All right. Is this heavy slam or is this body press? No, they go for the plus six. All right. Perfectly acceptable. All right, this is where... This is where it can get definitely a little bit complicated. Here comes the Ogre Pond. They're not going to... I don't think they're going to protect. They're probably just going to hope that they can knock out their Urshifu here. I'm going for the... Yeah, let's see. You turn into Drain Punch. I'm plus three, but they do have a Reflect up. I think I just risked a Gung Shot anyway. And I'm gonna U-turn out the... I guess I'm gonna U-turn the Gudra. It doesn't really change anything, I suppose. Because it doesn't matter who I U-turn, because if I'm going for Gung Shot, the Gung Shot is gonna KO the... It is gonna KO, what's it called? The Ogre Pond. Yeah, so I want to discourage them from protecting. I get the U-turn. I just get to see if it's uh, leftovers or not. That's basically just what I want to confirm here. And I don't think the U-turn again does anything here specifically. I'm going to go into Indity. Because I get the Psychic Terrain, which is still very helpful. Like, And then I also get my Terra. So that's pretty nice. Oh, they saw my Tantrum. Oh, thank goodness they didn't get the crit because they might be scope blends. All right, we get the gung shot off. Perfect. Goodbye, Ogre Pond. Great, great, great. I wish I had Psychic to fish for special defense drops, but all right. Body press. Yeah, Indity survives, which is nice. Get a Citrus Berry. Hmm, should I switch out Okidogi? Or do I just go for a Gunk Shot Poison now? I could follow me, then go into the Urshifu. I can certainly strike the... You know what? No. <laughs> I want to see the stored power, actually, Calx. You know what? I'm going to make this play. I'm going into my Armor Urge. And I'm going to go for the follow me. So I see the sequence of, that I want to go for. I'm going to switch out to Okadogi. I'm going to go into my arm rooch. Then I'm going to... Oh, wait. The Sergeant Strikes doesn't activate the weak, weak armor like that. I keep forgetting this. Well, uh... Actually, this could screw me over. <laughs> wait, this could screw me over. I'm, like, pretty sure if I'm not mistaken, if I Surging Strikes... Because I'm pretty sure I've used something similar to this. Or was that just Greninja? Actually, it might have been Greninja. I might be thinking Greninja, because I did attempt a Greninja. I don't remember if that I used it on the channel. It was Endor, Surging Strikes, the Armor Rooch, and then there was one thing. I think it was with Water Shuriken specifically. I'm pretty sure Surging Strike counts as like its own hit, so you do get the weak armor boost every time you do this. But like, I remember with <laughs> it, it was just such a weird position back then. Because every weak armor hit from, like, Water Shuriken, you wouldn't get the weak armor boost. It would only be the first hit you would get the boost, and then the other times you just wouldn't get the boost for some reason. I'm pretty sure certain strikes you do get the boost. And I'm getting plus six, so that means my store power is going to be boosted up. Hopefully, if I'm right about this. Yeah, okay, okay, I do get the plus six. Thank goodness, <laughs> thank goodness. That's really important for my store power. So, wait, hold on. I need to do some math. Is Expanding Force more powerful or is it Stored Power? I think it's Stored Power. 
because we have plus six speed which is already probably more powerful yeah i'm pretty sure stored power is enough they might have body press in our shifu k which is probably better for me because i get to free switch to the okadogi here and if i get to poison i just win the game i'm pretty sure unless they have life do but yeah we're gonna go for let me just double check the math plus so minus stats don't decrease anything it's only for stat increases plus six that's 120 and then like 140 160 180 200 and then uh, i think it's 220 so yeah i think parapsychic stored power into the gudra let's go for a gunk shot poison two into the gudra because they have to target the armor this turn otherwise then i'll start bulking up with okadogi but i actually don't know if i'd win this end game i'm relying all on the armor all my cards are on this armor route just to hopefully pick up the knockout into that gudra come on there's no light screen armor which terra psychic stored power come on eliminate the gudra i want it deleted <laughs> the critical hit on top of it i think we would have probably deleted the gudra psychic terrain stored power with all those boosts if not it would have been really close to where uh, if i get gunshot poison i do win the game but like <laughs> Uh, I, I feel like star power is probably KOing there at that range, but oh, that is crazy. <laughs> that damage output. Uh, finally got to set it up and I'm really happy with the result there. <laughs> Getting rid of one of the biggest annoyance walls in the game. All right, we have Okadogi plus Fluttermane, Ferrigraph, Tornadus, Milotic, and Landorus. Huh. Definitely some unique mons right here. I'm trying to figure out how I'm beating this exactly. I do kind of like the Wellspring Ogre Palm plus the Armourge. I think in the back, I like the Entity plus the... Do I like the Okadogi? Probably. Torn is potentially better. I don't know if they're going to go to Tailwind mode here. I think that's the question. I think I'm just going to go with Okadogi and see how it performs. Definitely some... I don't know. This is going to be tough. They are probably not bringing Okadogi in this matchup. I don't think you're bringing Okadogi into any of the armor roach torn stuff. Like, I have so many things that kind of just beat the Okadogi. If that's the case. And it doesn't really beat anything on my team. So, I'd eliminate the Okadogi as the bring. Like, I could see the torn mode. I think Flutter may make sense. Landers is okay here. Especially if it has Earthquake. It's probably pretty good. Uh, let's find out what it's going to be. Going to be the Flutter main and torn. All right. Against the Wellspring Ogre Pond and the Armor Rouge. Okay. I kind of like going for the Terra. Having the special defense increase is really good here. I think I'm going to just go for the target into the Flutter Main and I'm going to go into the because that Flutter Main is such a big offensive threat. If they go for Shadow Ball, this is perfect. If they go for uh, Thousand Gleam or Moon Blast, like this could be just Thousand Gleam Bleak Wind, which is kind of fine for me i'm gonna just go for the i'm just gonna go for the ivy casual and just see how well it performs here so we'll bring out the entity let's see what they're gonna accomplish this turn whether it's gonna be bleak wind like i wonder if entity even survives the turn that's also gonna be another one and then maybe i could get indoor off the following turn i could have probably targeted a torn got rid of the torn but a flutter main is definitely doing them more damage right now they also have no reason to really set up a Tailwind right now, so I think it should be all right. Okay. Get the Embody Aspect. We're going to see a Shadow Ball coming out into the Ogre Pond slot. So maybe it's Specs and we'll lock in a Shadow Ball to following. Okay. Hey, okay, no special defense shot. That's good. Oh my goodness. Well, that's... uh. Terrible start. If I was healthy, I'd be like, okay, I can follow me. I can, I'd be cudgeled to torn the next turn. I'm probably, in a, I'm probably cruising. Now I just go down to another Blake win. <laughs> uh, gotta love this game sometimes. What, what's coming out? What is coming out? Hey, Torn, if you want to, if, if there wants to be justice in this game, my Lodic, what? Okay. Uh, Spike your shield trick room. I don't know. Milo coming in it doesn't really do anything for them, so I'm going for my spike shield here. 
Leak Wind again. I have Citrus Berry on the Entity, so I should be able to live maybe one hit from Milo, hopefully. Okay. Speed Drop doesn't change too much here. Speed Drop might have actually mattered onto Ogre Palm because I actually now outspeed the Milo under Trick Room. Okay, it's Scald. Perfect. It's perfect. And I do get to Trick Room up. Okay, fantastic. I'm going for the KO on the Torn. I don't know if the... Torn could I protect? I have no clue about this Torn, so I kind of have to go aggressive here. And there is a chance that the Milo goes for the Terra, and it might be like Terra Dragon. And if it's Terra Dragon, that's okay. I just want to... If I can knock out the Torn, I'm in a good spot because Okadogi should be okay against the Milo. Assuming not an immediate Scald Burn. So that's basically how I'm going to be trying to play around this. Okay, no Terras, which is surprising. I guess Psy Shock off into the Torn. That's a good amount of damage. And I get the Ivy Cudgel knockout into Torn, which is fantastic. Okay. So they're down to their last two Pokemon. I'm probably lo Well, I'm losing one of these here for sure. Unless they set up something. If they have like Coil, I guess, or Hypnosis. They go for Scald again into Entity. Okay, that's really good for me. I'll take it. Should I go Armorage just so I can bait a potential weakness policy interaction? I think I do. I think I am going to go Armorage and bait a potential weakness policy interaction. Oh, they actually brought Okadogi. Wow. Okadogi is usually fast. Hmm. I think my play is just to Ivy Cudgel the Okadogi and go for an Expanding Force here. Because Okadogi is probably the biggest threat. The Milo... I mean, I still need to get rid of Milo. There's a lot of complications here, but we are going to see a Terra from my opponent. All right. Is this Milo or is this... Yeah, it is Milo. It's probably Terra Dragon. Yep. All right. I'm hoping that the Okadogi is decently fast, especially under Tailwind. They Scald, give me my policy. I should survive one Scald. And then hopefully afterward, Expanding Force just nukes their team. That's basically what I'm hoping for at this point. Ivy Cudgel, good damage to Okadogi. Oh, no. Okay. Did they double up? This is still fine, actually. No, that's still fine. No, that's still fine, yeah. It's actually funny. I think if I clicked Follow Me, I just won because the Scald got redirected. Or the knockout got redirected and then Scald goes in Armorage. Uh, they do go for the Scald, which is fine. All right. Okay. I added my own Okadogi here. Get the Psychic Seed boost so I can take on the Milo a bit better. It really depends on this Milotic set. That's going to be a big question. Like, if we can beat the Milotic. Knockoff Okadogi usually signals Assault Vest. It's the last turn of Psychic Terrain, but two turns of Trick Room. I'm going to scout it the Okadogi as Protect. And I'm just going to bulk up. Yeah, I, I just bulk up here and Protect, I think, with my... Yeah, I bulk up here. I spike a shield with my Ogre Pond. That way, if I scout for Protect under Okadogi, it's good. If not, I could just... I be cut the next turn and then I can gunk shot. They can't really punish my Okadogi here with their own Okadogi, I'd imagine. Like, I don't have an item, so knockoff doesn't even change anything here. So let's spike a shield and see what happens. The ice punch. Oh, I guess I could freeze. Well, I think Skull would have unfallen, so that actually works out for me. Okay. I do get a bulk up off with my Okadogi, and I should be able to Ivy Cudgel. Okay, so Ice Punch should confirm it's the solve as Ice Punch. Knock off, gunk shot, drain punch, or maybe poison jab. Okay, we can go for an Ivy Cudgel. We can go for a. I feel like gunk shot could knock out the Milo. I just drain punch. I think I'm just gonna drain punch, get my recovery too. Go for the Ivy Cudgel here into the. Ogre Pond, or into the Okadoki with the Ogre Pond. Pick up the knockout. All right. Come on, Okadogi, finish this off. I see wind. Okay, that, that gets rid of the Ogre Pond. I now have a speed drop, so they actually probably do outspeed. Now they outspeed me because uh, Trick Room is about to be over. So, all right. I mean, the game's not over. The game is not over. Here comes a Drain Punch. That's some really good damage. I think Gunk Shot would have missed a KO, so I'm pretty happy about this Drain Punch. All right, I'm going for a Gunk Shot. 
Or do I bulk up? I might bulk up here. Because they might... If they protect, they might protect to get leftovers recovery. <laughs> yeah, I'll bulk up. Yep. <laughs> I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I mean, even if they scald, I, like, I didn't have to dodge two burns for this to guarantee. Otherwise, then we're just going to be playing a, a game of, like, oh, is the scald burn or not? Okay. Probably his leftovers is actually going to make this Milo. Again, it depends on this scald right here. Oh, it's Haze. Oh, wait, they don't have Recover, though. Or unless they don't have... Yeah, they don't have Recover. Also, they got rid of my Speed Drop, so now I outspeed the Milo. Yeah. So this is Scald, Icy Wind, Haze, Protect. So they don't have Recover, so they can't win the game. Because they Haze. I think they had to go for a Scald. But even then, I guess, like, since they don't have Recover, they can't win the game anyway. I just Drain Punch here. Yeah, I'm faster because the speed drop is no longer in effect here. They can Scald Burn now, I guess? But they don't get the Scald Burn, so I guarantee win the game now. Because I can just Drain Punch through the Milo Day. Ooh, alright. <laughs> don't know what this really was. The turn one was awful. I'm surprised they brought out the... Milo? The Milo really didn't accomplish anything? I guess they were like, okay, maybe this entity is just like a standard Rocky Helmet. I can double knock out with Bleak Wind plus Scald. Assuming I hit the Bleak Wind. And they don't have to risk the Kidogi potentially on a Psychic. So, yeah. But it did not work out well for them. I was able to get Trigger up. It did uh, try to power through them, thankfully. Alright, we have Talonflame, Garchomp, Iron Valiant, Articuno, Iron Hands, Chi. What the heck am I looking at? <laughs> Okay, I have no idea what I'm looking at team-wise. Uh, I'm trying to think. What am I looking at? Uh, let's see. How do I perform? I do like Torn or Shifu. If I can do Torn or Shifu plus armor stuff, it'd be pretty good. I'm going to do Urshifu plus Tornadus. And then I think I do Entity plus uh, armor in the back, which I think is solid. Okadogi struggles a little bit here. I don't like it can do work, but I think it's really tough for it. I do like how armor can set up if we do get the perfect weak armor, but it is pretty tricky to get that weak armor strategy off. So let's see. If they leave Talonflame, I might just hard switch the torn out into Urshifu turn one. Or into the Indy to get the Psychic Terrain to protect my Urshifu. We're gonna see the Chiyu and the Iron Valiant. What the heck is this lead? Not booster energy eater. What the heck is this? Okay. Uh, don't be scarf and I'm fine. I'm going to go for rain dance plus surging strikes here. Into the iron valiant. They stay in. If this is scarf, I'm going to cry. Okay. It's not. So wait, why did that tank it? Wait, what? Oh, no, it's going down. Okay. Okay. It's, it's going down. <laughs> I was like, what is that? What's that first hit? That first hit looked like 25%. Thirty strike rolls are weird. Okay. Goodbye, Iron Valiant. That's a really nice. Psychic. How am I beating the Chiyu again? Well, I'm going Armor Rouge. Well, actually, no. That should be Specs then. If that's Specs... Uh, we should be okay, I, I suppose. I was really hoping to force Eater to chew to Terra. I guess they just doubled there. We're going to see the Talonflame come in, all right? Against Armor Rouge. I need my Torn alive because it's, it's the only thing that allows me to beat this. I'm going to go for the Expanding Force and the Talonflame. I'm going to switch to Entity. If this, for some reason, if this Chiyu is not Specs or Scarf, I'm going to flip. <laughs> I'm going to flip. <laughs> so we're switching out the Torn. We're going out into our... Indy. Okay. Okay, they brave birded. Is this brave bird psychic? Oh my goodness. It is actually. It is actually like. Is that a soul vest? There's no way you're actually a soul vest. 
That's so bad for me. <laughs> what is that to you? <laughs> Why are you psychic star? It has to be a soul. There's no way. There's no way. Wait, what? Why are you drought spray? It's drought spray. Sounds like goes down. I don't have helping hand. I don't know how I'm bringing in to chi you. I realistically don't know how I'm being to chi you. If I endure here, it doesn't matter. I can go torn, but I take the second snarl. If they miss. I don't think I can win. I just don't have enough pressure. The fact that it's throat spray psychic out of any moveset is screwing me up so much here. I think I got in. I think I got an endurance sack. I don't even know what to say, man. All right. Endure the armor to make sure I hang around. Iron head in case I tear a fairy. That makes sense. You go for snarl again. Okay. Oh, if I had wide guard right now, this would actually be beautiful. But I do not. Or Terra Fly. <laughs> or Helping Hand Indy, because I could have sacked the armor reach and protected. Then I could help Helping Hand Bleak Wind. And that might have given me a shot. Okay. Actually, no. I see the out now. I see the out. All right. My out is really ridiculous here. So my play is to. Spanning for us to guard chomp. Bleak wind, double speed drop here, and hopefully that is gonna be enough. I need to double speed drop here so I can get the expanding force off. We're gonna finally see the terror on one of these Pokemon, alright. Oh, this is Guard Chomp Terra Steel, it's over. Oh yeah, it's over. <laughs> it's over. I don't even get that one, God. I don't think he was able sa to save me. I went for the Rain Dance 30 strikes because I found a need. Maybe I had to rain. I guess maybe I should target the Chiu? I don't know. It's just like, sometimes you can't expect this. Sometimes you just cannot expect this. <laughs> uh, I think maybe I guess I should have to Terra Water then. But I really didn't know what the strategy was with Iron Valley and Throat Spray Stall Psychic Chiyu. Don't even get me started. <laughs> sometimes the latter will find new ways to surprise you and it does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to games. In game one, was very happy not seeing the Dusclops or the Blood Moon Ursaluna as Okadogi was able to beat everything around the Guja that was taking multiple turns to set up. And then I found a way to set up a stored power situation. Also, as a note, it was Greninja's Washirkin that had a weird weak armor interaction and not Surging Strike. So I was able to always get the plus six off the weak armor as the Washirkin is the one where it only activates once for some reason, even though it's a multi-hit move. In game two, Turn one could have been amazing, but the crit into Ogre Pond really made my position terrible. But they allowed me to set up Trick Room, which allowed Ogre Pond to take knockouts onto the Tornadus and their Okadogi, which allowed me to win a 1v1 of their Milotic versus my Okadogi. In game three, I really don't know what to say about that Chi you set, but I don't think there was much I could do other than target down with Surging Strikes, but I thought my Urshif would have been safe under the rain. I think this team is really hard to pilot, especially, and I think Nils is just an incredible player as he's able to utilize a lot of different options and really go for some really strong hard commitments that you have to make with this team sometimes. It was something really impressive just being able to use that armor rouge strategy. And the Okadogi was something really impressive. I really like the idea of Psychic Seed Okadogi as with bulk up, you're able to wall quite a bit the format and then Drain Punch just heal back your HP. I thought it was like a really cool combination of mons that work together on this team. If you'd like to check out the details of this recreation that I made, they'll be linked in the description down below. You could also check out Nils there as well and subscribe to the channel for more VGC content as always.